On Jersey Shore, you were not naked every week. They didn't show. Mmm, tasty. What is up, Stu Crew? John Bastow here. And Shannon Truex. And this is New Media Stu Culture Pop, where we are bringing you to a very, very special event, talking all things pop culture with MTV, VH1, logo stars, on a special drag queen themed culture pop. Booyah. What do you think are the biggest news in pop culture right now? Our show. Yes, so you do. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes. I would have cut you if you had said anything else. What can we expect from the new season of Snooki and JWoww? This is probably the funnest season we've ever filmed. I'm sure, that's not going to be the last time I hear that. We've done nine shows, and this was the best one. We're just like a big dysfunctional family at the shore, but trying to do everything that we never did on the Jersey Shore before when we were drunk idiots. Snooki and JWoww. Definitely huge since they're coming up with their third season. Drake, since he just released an album. Lady Gaga, okay? I live for Lady Gaga. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Lindsay Lohan is not in jail right now. I think that right there is, I mean, it's been at least, she's been out of jail longer than she's been in it, so that's good. I don't pay attention because I'm too busy drinking. How can we all forget Miley Cyrus, right? I came in like a rainbow. Miley Cyrus. She is the hot thing right now and she will be for a while. Miley Cyrus is huge yeah. in the celebrity buzz. What do you think about Miley Cyrus with the twerking? Uh, I twerk myself so I give her thumbs up and hey, let the haters hate. Let the haters hate as you're walking to the bank and depositing their money. Exactly. She's absolutely amazing. I mean everything that she's doing, everybody already else did it. Britney did it when she was her age, Madonna did it, like you know, Christina Aguilera. Now it's Miley's turn. Oh, you know, I live for Miss Wrecking Ball. I mean, anybody that can get naked and swing back and forth, honey, you got my vote. Hallelujah. I just wanted to figure out why her tongue keeps hanging out of her mouth. <laughs> Ooh, you have a little friend there. I guess I do. I love that, man. Oh, I, love that, I love it. She's doing her yeah. thing, man. Everybody, everybody do your her. thing. I've partied with Miley before at the Beecher's Madhouse in LA. She's a good time. Ooh, Beecher's Madhouse, that is the in place. She must be able to pull a lot of strings, Detox. I pull a lot of things. <laughs> Do you think that pretty much twerking is the new key to success in the media? Well listen, twerking is sickening, but you gotta go with the original, okay? Working has always been my cup of tea. Hallelujah. I, I came to work. Just because twerking made it to the dictionary after the MTV Music Awards, I have to say yes. I was wondering if you think the ring on Kim Kardashian's finger is the real deal. Is it going anywhere and is it there to stay? I also don't pay attention to the car crashians as I like to call them because they're quite irritating. I think it's for real. I don't think the romance is. Well, listen, I love a diva like Kim Kardashian because she always looks gorgeous to me. But in addition to that, she's a hard-working girl. And I got to give props to a girl that came from a sex tape to a big rock on her finger. Two rocks in two years. That's a bad bitch. I ain't mad at Kim Kardashian. So go on, girl. I wish everybody happiness in the world. If you find it in Kanye, Yeezus, Hallelujah, whatever, go for it. I think Kim Kardashian is finally in love and hopefully it's... It's the last ring she gets on her finger. Because isn't that what we all really want to find? Love? <laughs> yes. Either that or Poison Ivy. How did you meet John Bastow long ago? At the Carlton in Eisenhower Park when I used to work there. He would come in. It was very sweet. I know. I used to always walk around the mall in Long Island and see your posters with your abs. Yeah. And I always wanted to ask him when he was there, but I wasn't disrespectful. I was like, can you just pull up your shirt? and. Let me see those. I know, me too. I can see Sunday morning motivational show with this lady right here. Oh, honey, listen. Just a little flair to Sunday morning preaching. Joel Osteen and T.D. Jakes, I got nothing on Shangela. I think she could definitely wake up the Lakewood congregation at Joel Osteen's place. Well, oh let my me just God. tell you, I, now this is the truth, yes. I am a licensed officiant and minister, so you could call me Reverend Shangela if you wanted to. That was New Media's through Culture Pop, and your culture has officially been popped. Booyah. Mmm, tasty. Hey, this is Jenny. And Nicole. And we're from Sookie and JWoww, and you're watching New Media's Stew, and your culture has been popped.